the progression that we're looking at is a 2 5 1 in C. We're um, going to start with the 2 chord in that uh, harmonized scale, which is a D minor 7. The 5 chord is a G7. And we'll resolve on the 1 chord a C major 7. So in context, that would be... All of the chords in the chord progression that you just heard, they have an associated arpeggio. When chord tones are played scale-wise or in succession, it's called an arpeggio. I'm going to be going over the arpeggios that are associated with our chord progression, and we'll harmonize together with those later. D minor 7. 8, 10, 8, 7, 10, 7, 10. G7 arpeggio starts out on 7, 10, 8, 9, 7, 10. arpeggio starts on 7, 7, 8, 10, 7, 10, 9, 10, 9, 8, 7, 8. In addition to the arpeggios, we're also going to be using a C major scale. That starts out on 7, 8, 10, 7, 8, 10, 7, 9, 10, 7, 9, 10, 8, 10, 7, 8, 10. So when you combine chord scales and arpeggio, you get something uh, like I was playing at the beginning of this video. So I'm going to start out um, combining those three elements using uh, the D minor 7 chord first. And I'm going to start with, its, um, with chord tones that are associated with that. So I'm going to play uh, those chord tones first, then I'm going to hit that chord that was for D minor 7. Then I'm going to move to the G7, which is uh, this, the uh, 5 chord in our progression. And that would, it's very similar. And then I'll resolve that with our 1 chord in our progression, which is a C major 7. So the tones that I was using for that, and you don't have to do this, most of the tones will work, just um, find some sort of phrasing that works best for you. I'm just going to give you an example, but it's just don't stick with it, use your own. So I'm going to be doing a, uh, for the D minor 7, I'm going to choose a 7, 9, 8, 9, D minor 7, for the G7, I'm going to use a... 9, 7, 8, I beg your pardon, 10, 7, 8, 10, G7, and then I'm going to resolve that on the 1 chord using chord tones from the C major 7 arpeggio. I'm going to go 8, 7, 8, C major 7. Uh, so again, if I were to combine those all in context, I'd start with the D minor 7. And that would uh, close with the C major 7. So in that last example, I was using only arpeggios and chords. So now I'm going to work in 
uh, notes from our scale as well, from the C major scale. So I'm going to be using uh, the chord tones first. I'm going to start with our two chord, which is a D minor 7, and I'm going to go, uh, these are the chord tones for that, that arpeggio. It's going to be 7, 10, 8, 9, and then I'm going to put in some tones from our scale, and I'm going to go 10, 7, and then I'm going to hit that chord. So real quick, that was... So, I did arpeggio, chord, and then, I, I, pardon, arpeggio, scale, and then chord. So, I'm going to do the same thing with the G7. And there's no magic formula for this, you just kind of do whatever sounds good. The arpeggio first, so I'm going to start out with, uh, on the low E, I'm going to go, um, how about we do it in reverse? I'll go uh, 10, 7, 8, 7, 10, and now I need some chord tones, so I'm going to go 7, 9, 10, 7, 9, 10, and I'm going to hit that chord. So if I were to do that quick, it would sound uh, something like this. So then I'm going to uh, resolve on the, the one chord, the C major 7. So I'm going to start off using uh, chord tones from our arpeggio, and then I'm going to use scale tones from our scale. And then I'll finish with, with the chord. So here are the, uh, the arpeggio chord tones. And here's some scale tones. So there really is no rule when combining arpeggios, scales, and chords. I would stick with arpeggios first, that way it frames the chord. Um, after the arpeggio, go ahead and move into just some, some chord, some scale tones, just for some flavor, and then, then hit the chord that you're working with. So if I'm doing the D minor 7, um, G7, C major 7 progression, the 2, 5, 1, and C, um, I'm just going to lay down my chord tones first, hit some, some flavor notes within the scale, and then wrap up the chord. And uh, I'll do that until the progression is over. So um, I would close just doing something like this. sloppy but uh, anyway you get the point so uh, thanks for watching and uh, yeah just practice those three parts and you should be well on your way thanks again